guys, Mary here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing all about how to entertain a six month old baby. Aside from letting them pull your hair, which is their favorite thing to do, huh? So, this is Zachary. He's actually seven months old now, and I am a mom of three little boys. Yes. <laughs> ages five, three, and seven months. And I want to share with you guys all my tips and tricks for how to entertain a baby to help them learn and grow and develop, hit those milestones and everything else to just be happy. So the number one way I keep my baby entertained and happy is I just let him be. I just let him crawl around and be happy and explore the world because that is the number one thing that babies want to do. So I give him tons of time most of the day just on his, I don't say on his tummy, like it's not enforced tummy time. He can be on his back, he can roll around, he can do whatever he wants. But I just create a space that's safe for him to be around and just put toys, different objects, things he might want to explore and really just let him be. I have found that babies don't need somebody in their face all the time singing and clapping and reading and all of that. Like those things are all really, really important, of course. It's also really important to let them spend time just exploring their interests, exploring the world, moving their body and not being like contained in jumpers and bouncers and all of that. Just let them be, let them learn to reach and grab. Let give them tons of things to put in their mouth that are safe and explore the world. Number two, speaking of which, is to have fun with food. Yes, we do baby led weaning in our house and that means Zachary has a lot of time to play with food. For example, in the morning for breakfast, he often has Cheerios and fruit and he can spend half an hour just sitting by himself in his high chair, picking up the Cheerios, looking at them. Sometimes he throws them on the floor, you know, whatever he wants to do, but that is a great time for him to practice those really essential fine motor skills, their pincer grip, all of those things that come along with eating. So even though it's okay to do a mixture of um, not baby led weeding and to give them food with a spoon or whatever, we do a little bit of that too. I find I love baby led weaning because it's another great activity for them. So just putting safe foods in front of them and letting them play and explore different textures, feelings, temperatures of food, all that kind of stuff is really great for their learning and development and it's fun. Next thing we do is lots of exposure to noise and lights and different things out in the world. So a lot of new moms are very cautious about bringing their babies out into the world and I get it, the world is a scary place. But what I found is the more exposure they have and the more adaptable they are and the less nervous and anxious they are. So what we like to do is I have two bigger boys who are always running around being crazy and loud and he gets lots of time to just sit there and watch them and enjoy that and and what's really nice about that is loud noises don't startle him people running around don't scare him right so he gets exposed to all of that and I think that that will serve him really well when he starts going to playgrounds and things like that so if you don't have other kids at home so if you don't have other kids at home, you can go to a playground to see other kids or you know wherever kids hang out. Let them watch and learn from everything going on around them so you don't have to provide all the entertainment in your own home. Go out into the world and let them experience it. The next thing we do that entertains Zachary is we go for stroller walks and this is much more for my mental health than his but he absolutely loves being outside. That is my number one trick and tip for newborns for any baby is just spend time outside. Babies love being outside. I mean, humans love being outside, but babies especially, it's so good for them to breathe that natural air and just be calmed by the wind, the sunshine, everything like that. So we do a stroller walk every single day, mostly depending on the weather. Um, and he really enjoys just being in the stroller. Babies go through phases of not liking the stroller. Every kid does, whether it happens when they're a toddler or a much younger kid and just keep going, keep working through it. My kids always have understood that stroller time happens every day, just like brushing your teeth or any other habit. Stroller walks happen every day because I need that exercise and I need that break. So they learn that it happens every day and they learn to enjoy it too. So start them young and get out there for you too. Okay, next up is Zachary's jumper. Now this is a little controversial because, because there are some parenting philosophies that say you should never put kids in things that contain them, they should always have 
have that freedom of space to move. And while I think that's a great idea, sometimes you really just need baby to stay put in one place so you can cook dinner or do whatever you need to do. And Zachary absolutely loves his jumper. This is like number one favorite thing. And I am really grateful for it. We've used it with all three kids. They all have loved it. And my kids have all been early crawlers and all of that. So to me, it has not impacted them negatively at all. But of course, do your own research, but we absolutely love our jumper. Okay, the next up is music. Babies love when you sing to them and they love hearing music and making music of their own, being able to drum on things. It's all really, really good way to connect with them. Speaking of connection, I think it's nap time, so I'm gonna wrap this up really quick. I just have two more things to mention, I know. <laughs> That is reading to them. So even though they're of course too young to maybe fully understand, it's really good to teach them young that reading is a part of their day and a part of their routine. And I'm gonna link some books below that are great for first books. I like ones that show pictures of real babies in them. Babies seem to really like that. And ones that have an interactive component like clapping their hands or kissing or whatever it is, something that they can do. Or you can kiss them, you know, clap their hands for them. And the books are a really great tool to have an interaction and a little moment of connection with them. And then last up is toys, of course, and I'm going to show you guys some of our favorite baby toys. So that is it. That is how to entertain a six-month-old baby. And now it's time to put a six-month-old baby down for a nap. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.